Hi, welcome back again to Home Assistant. I'm enjoying this little bit of tinkering each day in Home Assistant. And thanks for the thumbs up on yesterday's video where I showed you my Ruvi temperature sensor offset. I had a question and let's address that. Could you add a percentage offset? Yeah, I believe so. We can try it out. But look, one thing I need to fix is I actually don't want 0.8. I want minus 0.8. There we are. Now, one thing I did need to do, however, is I had to go and configure and set a minimum value allowed down to minus 10 and a maximum, I just set it down to 10. I restarted Home Assistant to make this work, however, and now I can go down to minus 10 if I so choose. And there we are. So I'll just put that back to 0.8. That's the kind of offset I actually want. Now let's la uh, try and add uh, another temperature sensor and we'll try and add a percentage offset for that. So first I'm just going to add the second uh, sensor. Now what I can do here is I can just duplicate this card and the entity is number two because I've named everything quite consistently. So there it is. There's the second temperature sensor. Now I need to create this one in my config, but first I'm gonna create a an offset. So I will go down to devices and services into helpers, create a helper. And what I did is just created a, a number. Let's click that again. And now this is going to be Ruby to offset, we can give it an icon. Let's look at the same icon. Let's put a minimum value in here also. Now in this case, yeah, we'll keep it as minus 10, up to 10. Input field is what I want. And the step size, I'm gonna make that also. Now, actually, because I'm gonna do percentage, I'll make the step size 0.01. And the unit measurement, uh, look, it doesn't really matter, but we let's just put it as percentage. Okay, so I have my second offset helper number. Now I need to head in, I'll head into my configuration YAML, so Studio Code Server is where I do my editing. And here I can uh, pretty much cut and paste this as well. So let's just do a copy paste. Make sure all the indentation is correct. We'll call this one a rule V2. The unit of measurement is still going to be degrees Celsius. What I'll do now is I'll change this to 2. And this is the offset of 2. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the Ruby sensor and I will multiply it by the offset. That's it. Control S to save. And we're ready. What I do need to do, however, is go and reload the uh, system. So let's go up. I want, I want, I want, I want. I always forget where this is. Developer tools, there we are. Check the configuration, everything looks good. Um, what we can try and do is reload all YAML configurations. Don't have to restart Home Assistant in this case. Now I'll go back to the dashboard and I'm going to add, now I can take this same card. Let's just edit and again, duplicate and here because I named things consistently and save and you can see now it's 185.4 degrees. Why? Well, let's take a duplicate of this one as well. And this is number two, input number. 
right, so now let's uh, save this. So what you can see here is minus 10%. Hmm. So if I wanted to add on rho v2 temperature, uh, no offset, I can actually set this to 1. And the reason is, if you wanted to add 0%, you just need to multiply by 1. Okay, if I want to add 1%, there it is. What if I want to add 10%? Again, 1.5, will give me 50%. And if I wanted to add 100% on top, there it is. So this is a way you could decide your offset according to percentage. And all you need to do is pick a number between one and two. So, just think of the second part after the dot as how many percent. You want to add 5%? 0 0.05. There it is. This is pretty cool. I'm going to add some more of these temperature sensors and also these sensors have humidity and I will want to add an offset uh, to the humidity reading as well. And hopefully soon I'm going to start tinkering on making a nice single card that will show each of the sensors. And so on a single card, have the temperature, humidity, um, also air pressure, and hopefully make it look nice with a little bit of history information there as well. But that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, come on, I've got to say it every now and again, press the button and then you'll see. Well, actually, I just upload a video every day. So, you know, just come back every day. There'll be a new one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now.